Hey everyone, it's an aging zombie here. Over the course of Modern Warfare Zombies, I've never really been one to use wonder weapons a lot. I mean, yeah, the Scorcher, it's fantastic as far as moving around the map, but I never really bring them in. I usually always just find a wonder weapon and then decide to use it or not. In fact, usually when I find one, I don't use it unless it's the Scorcher uh, for that mobility reason. So in today's video, I'm going to go through each of the Wonder Weapons and go into the Season 1 Dark Aether and see can I actually use them as a main weapon. I will try and get through as many contracts as I can. I doubt I will actually be able to complete every single contract with each of the Wonder Weapons, but we'll see what I can do and really I just want to be able to extract. Alright, so we're starting off here with the Ray Gun. Now I did want to bring in Golden Plates. I totally forgot to bring in the Golden Plates. So this one might be a little worse, but I do feel like out of all the wonder weapons, this is probably gonna be the easiest just cause it more is like a gun. I feel like the Scorcher is gonna be the hardest. And then the Wonder Waffa and the VR-11, I just feel like ammo might be the biggest issue. So be interested to see how that goes. Now I did also kind of gear up and I will be using like juggernauts for um, mega abominations because I do want to try to actually complete everything in here. And so I feel like the Mega Abominations are going to take way too much time, so I think just using the uh, Juggernauts will help with that. Uh, I thought there was stairs over here, but I'm wrong. Or a ladder, not stairs. I want to get on a building. Oh, there's one right here. want to funnel things up as I call in the jug suit. Let me equip the sentry gun. Alright, there we go. Got it. Alright, let's take out this mega as quick as I can. we go. Alright, now let's hopefully clear out the horde so that I can place my sentry gun. Let's get this guy. He's going to cause some havoc. Ooh, nice. Oh, <laughs> the, the ACV is gone? Did I destroy it? Did I seriously destroy the ACV? Huh. Did my, uh, oh no, did the Juggernaut fall on the ACV? Oh no, well, that's <laughs> a bummer. All right, well, we'll equip that Juggernaut back. Maybe I'll use the Sentry Gun for the, uh, the, out, the Outlast. Oh boy, um, so okay, let's go to the, oh, I gotta cancel the contract. Wow, I've never had that happen. That was really weird. But I'm going to go to the extractor contract. Oh, I hear a mega. Let's grab you. So I figured with the ray gun, the hardest, the two hardest were going to be, oh, hold on, if I don't have to use a Kazi, I'm not going to, but I figured the two hardest ones were going to be the Escort ACV and the Outlast, just because of the smaller area. And, you know, there are times that I've used this ray gun, I, mean, I don't use it often, it's the least that I use out of all the wonder weapons, all the wonder weapons. Um, oh, whoops, I meant to throw up here like I normally do. But as far as this gun goes, I don't know if you're supposed to actually shoot the body of the zombies or rely on the splash damage from shooting at the ground. Sometimes I feel like it does better if I shoot the body. Sometimes I feel like it does better if I shoot the ground. Haven't really figured that out yet, so I kind of go back and forth, and I usually aim towards the feet. 
Because sometimes I've noticed that like aiming towards the feet a lot of times will like break their legs essentially and then they crawl on the ground which I think helps with like horde management. Set this here. Hopefully that helps. Equip that before I forget. Ooh, whoop. So see the thing is it's like it just doesn't feel like they do a whole lot of damage. Oh boy. You know, I'd want the wonder weapons to be like way more powerful. Oh, and I do have a bunch of uh, Kazmir, so I probably should use some of these. Oh boy. I need plates. I kind of want to run through that. Yes, got some good, good, good. Yeah, it just does, like, almost nothing, it feels like. I have plates. I should <laughs> use them. Alright, so... I was able to complete two. <laughs> that went a little smoother than I thought, even though I do feel like the... Uh, well, that's the plans. I don't really need the plans anymore. Uh, we'll drop that. Let's just throw one. take you out before I leave. Alright, well, let's get out of here. Alright, so now we are doing the Scorcher. And again, I did bring in some stuff. I brought in Kazmir's and some Juggernauts and the Sentry Gun. Whoop. Now this gun, I feel like, is going to be a little bit harder. In fact, I think it's going to be the hardest. Just because of the time it takes to recharge the ammo. Oop. Should just scorch it off. I'm so used to just jumping. I mean, just in general, I'm not used to having wonder weapons. Oh, I threw that close to the ACV. So let's see if this time I do not somehow either destroy or make this ACV disappear. Alright, there it dropped down. Got to be nice and quick. So let's clear up the board here. Okay, so we'll start, start this up. Should have put that on before. Last one here. Okay. So now we'll really start using the Scorcher here. I think the VR, the VR11 is 100% going to be the easiest one for the ACV. Oh no, I don't have enough charge. <laughs> I'm trying to hold on to uh, my Kazmiers until the stops. Because I also want Kazmiers for the um, Ether Extractor. Oh. 
but my oh no mangler get off die mangler Ooh, what is this oh two times i'll take it whatever all right i think i'm gonna just try and let my scorcher recharge its ammo here Good. It's not really damaging the ACV. It's focusing everything on me. Same with that disciple, but I'm gonna go down. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, need to put these. Yep. Just keep focusing on me. Oh no! I didn't realize the uh, mega abomination came up here. All right, we're gonna have to throw this out. Throw these out and just hope that the mega. No, oh, darn. Contract failed. Okay, that's fine. Let's jump out of this. Yeah. This gun definitely feels a little bit more challenging to work with, which is weird because <laughs> I feel like the first run, the ray gun... Oh, shoot. Why did I do that? <laughs> um, I felt like it was a little underpowered, but... Oh, why didn't I pull my shoot? <laughs> I just watched myself fall. That's okay. Oh, good. Nothing is attacking me. Oh, is it still gonna go? Nope. Oh, yes. Thank goodness. Alright, jumping down over here. Throw a Kazzy. Restock. Oh, a nuke. Hello. Let's grab that. Why not? Oh gosh, let that explode there. Just making mistakes left and right here. Oh, that's right, I don't have a uh, sentry gun for this one since I was able to use it on the ACV. If I can kind of stay here. Nope, doesn't look like it. I need my Scorcher to recharge, so let's run over here. Alright, it's starting to feel easier than the ray gun, just because you can kind of shoot and then it will just keep damaging over time. Even though I do have to wait for this to recharge. The ray gun's nice. You can kind of keep shooting. Let me throw one of these out here. Alright, got to maneuver here while it recharges. sit here as it recharges. Alright, now I can shoot. Anything good? Eh. Wait, was that plans? No, case. Alright, cool. Alright, and I'm out of here. Uh, one, more, one more shot here. Boink. Okay, so... Now for the VR-11. This is the one I am most worried about, which I've probably said before. I feel like the ammo, ammo is gonna be the biggest thing because I, 
I really don't know if when you convert a zombie, when it finally dies, does it ever drop ammo or anything or armor, stuff like that? I have no idea, so I'm a little worried. Boy, and I just missed those first two shots. The other thing I had someone say once is you should spam reload when using this, which I wasn't really... I should have asked for more clarification because um, I wasn't sure what that meant. I'm assuming, I know like, one, this thing kind of takes a while to like shoot, uh, and then two, the time in between shots is a little slow. So I think he just meant like, okay, shoot then reload. And the reload animation on empty is pretty bad. So maybe that's what they meant. Go. Good, good, good. And I didn't bring in a uh, sentry gun this time. Since I have the VR-11, I'll be able to heal the ACV. So we're just going to use that and not really worry too much about trying to super protect the ACV with gear and equipment. Well, I'll be using the Casimirs like normal. All right, I think we can start this up here. Oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> they hit me hard. Maybe I should have taken a little bit more time to try and clear this out. Okay, I still don't have ammo from anyone. Oh, I should have looked up where the ammo depots are. I know they have ammo depots here in the Dark Aether. I just don't know where they are. Oh boy, yep, out of ammo. First problem here. Contract failed. What? I wasn't even paying attention to its health. Oh no. Oh. Well, that's not good. Okay. <laughs> that's a big fail on my part. Oh, another Mega here. We're just going to avoid him for now as I try and get to the next contract. Well, I feel like this is uh, turning into, can I use the VR-11 to, can I just survive? <laughs> Let's hope uh, some of these zombies here, yes, good, dropped ammo, perfect. The downside with uh, the VR-11 ammo is it's one ammo per drop. It's not like other weapons where it's like a couple. Oh boy, that was a little close. Whoop, missed that ladder there. Wow, there's a lot there. Oh, come on. Perfect. Oh, boy. Oh, no. <laughs> I was trying to just get out of there. That's the one downside to using that spot to try and get up here that I've noticed. Um... I will, a lot of times, just get stuck by hordes of zombies, and most of the time I can, like, finagle my way out of there, but I think because I, uh, didn't have a gun to get me through it, I just struggled. Alright, minions, help me out, and drop ammo, please. Okay, 
ammo, ammo, ammo. We'll help you out here. And hopefully that gives me some ammo. Yes, it did. Just a little bit. Oh, I jumped right into that. That's my fault. Oh boy, hello. Mega is going to be a little bit of a problem. I think only just a little bit, though. Okay, I think I have to focus all my... VR-11 ammo on the... Oh, no, I actually wasted a shot. Uh, on the Mega here. So that's one thing I don't like about the uh, VR-11 is that like there's that huge delay between shots. Oh boy, hold on, hold on. There we go, equip those. There's the huge delay between shots that, uh... oh, what did I pick up? Oh, meat. Huge delay between shots that just makes it uh, sometimes unpredictable in its shooting. I end up accidentally, like, randomly shooting off into the void because I'm just, like, click, just clicking so much. And we're out. Okay, so the last one here, the Wonder Waffa, which I'm pretty damn excited for. I think outside of the Scorcher, really just the Scorcher for its mobility um, around Tier 3 and even in these Dark Aethers, uh, the Wonder Waffa is probably my favorite. I think it's just a cool concept, this, like, electric gun with splash damage. And I hear two Megas coming at me. <laughs> There's one, I don't see the other one. But I hear it. All right, so let's throw one of these out here, being cautious of the ACV. Now, one thing that I don't like about this gun, though, is how slow it reloads. Even with uh, Speed Cola, it just feels like it goes really slow. <laughs> so much. So much. Okay, got that all cleared up. And I didn't bring a sentry gun again, so let's see if we can get this done. I think another big downside to this gun, and it's the same thing with the VR-11, is I just feel like it's, uh, you like really have to hit directly on the, the enemies. I feel like it's a little unforgiving, you know, if you just miss by a little bit, it like does, it just zips right by him. Oh boy, I should uh, shoot back here maybe. Oh, that was a nice little horde that got stuck there. Oh, Disciple, you're gonna go down quick. This is an electric gun. Oh, that didn't go where I wanted it to. All right, I gotta watch out this left side here. Oh, seems okay for now. Nice thing about this one, though, compared to, like, the VR-11 is, uh, the ammo, when you refill it, it's, uh, oh, boy, another mega, shoot, oh, gosh, okay, I gotta throw this, I'm gonna throw it up over here, oh, no, <laughs> oh, no, 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 move past, move past, oh, gosh, I screwed this up, didn't I, I did, oh, boy, thank goodness. Oh, man. That was a little close. Okay, where's the Mega? There you are. Get off my ACV.
Oh boy, that was a little, that was a little hairy. Oh, reload. Another thing I'm realizing is it seems like uh, when you hit a special zombie, it seems like the uh, electric doesn't uh, like splash over to other zombies. Oh, worry about this side over here. Oh boy, come on. <laughs> I was trying to plate. I should have just uh, called in my field upgrade there. That was foolish of me. Oh, meant to equip my juggernaut here. health for this thing. Yeah, I, I don't think I'm going to make this. Oh. No. Bummer. Oh. Alright, we're going to call in this uh, last juggernaut here. this in oh no it's the uh the shock wave <laughs> there we go well i have to go around here oh come on oh boy oh my Trying to go through that door. Oh, gotta reload. Alright. Move on from this one. Oh, what? What the heck? <laughs> I didn't see those zombies. It feels like they just came out of nowhere. come up here. I'm going to try and reload before I jump over. Yep, perfect. Is it going to trigger? Nope. I don't know why sometimes I feel like when the little prompt icon goes away, sometimes I'm still able to, like, trigger the... Oh my goodness, get off me, get off me! Um, sometimes it still works and I'm able to activate the um, extractor and other times I can't. All right, last contract here. Ooh, what's this? Oh, armor. Ooh. You know, I, I feel like 
I would have expected more, like, splash damage that it, like, affect more zombies as they walk into, like, the area of effect of where it's already been, like, triggered, but not really getting that too much. I stood there way too long trying to get that disciple down. I'm gonna throw one of these so I can reload here. Oop. I guess that's one big downside to this weapon is the ammo in the mag is pretty low and then especially tied with the slower reload. Makes it a little challenging. Aether Blade case, don't need any of that. Oh boy. Let's get it. just a couple more shots in here. Oh, they're all it's running away from me. Come back here. I want to kill you. Why are you running? Oh, I'm out of ammo. Shoot. Oh, there we go. Alright, my last three shots, my guy. It's all for you. Oh, no. Alright, I'm out. Okay, so... quite enjoyed using just the wonder weapons. Even though... I kind of failed on a lot of the contracts, um, but I did I did feel like I was kind of uh, reliant on Kazmir's, so I'm going to try a run here with mainly Kazmir's. Now, this time I did bring an Aether Blade with me. I figured, like, I got to have, like, something to just help a little bit, um, but I pretty much got Kazmir's and a couple of Jug Suits. And I feel like, since I've been doing this, coming back to this OG Dark Aether with um, the Elder Sigil, I don't remember any of these, or this Elder Sigil having this many Mega Abominations. I feel like there are so many in this one now. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe it's always been this way and it's just been so long since I've come to this one now granted this is the one that I normally like to come to even when I just do like a random squads or six mans we always end up coming most of the time end up coming to this one and maybe I just don't notice how many there are because there's so many other people in my squad and most other people have juggernaut suits and probably take them out really quick so maybe it's just I don't really notice it but yeah, it just feels like there's been extra Mega Abominations in here. Let's see if I can get around this corner really quick and maybe let... Oh, nope. Now, I do feel like I probably won't be able to complete this contract. This is probably going to be the one contract I just absolutely cannot beat. But I'm going to give it a try. Yeah, I feel like all the uh, special zombies, that's going to be the problem that I run into. I've already taken, yeah, so much damage on this ACV. And I just have no way to really get them off. Oh my goodness, that is quite the horde. Yeah, there's too many manglers. I don't think I'm going to be able to do this. And the problem is, uh, even when I throw my Aether Blade with uh, the Casimir out, where the Casimir's pulling all these zombies, it's like I'd like it to go just to the manglers, but it kind of seems to go towards zombies first. Um, let's see, here's another Juggern or Mega. Should probably throw this. I'm gonna kind of throw it a little ahead in hopes that I already pass it by the time this comes down. Oh! <laughs> uh 
that was weird. I couldn't throw um, my ether blade. It was like even my fists weren't coming out. Which that was happening to me when I was trying to do the uh, infinite cosmos camo. There must be something that uh, with the juggernaut suits and throwing them. Well, yep, yeah, definitely failed that uh, escort ACV. That's fine. Figured I would. The other thing I've noticed, and I don't know if it's been this way for a long time and I just haven't noticed it, or if it's kind of new and I'm seeing it, I feel like when I use the uh, Aether Blade, sometimes I'll aim right at an enemy and it will just fly right, like literally through their body and will kill something behind them instead of like the thing that's directly on top of me. I find that very interesting. And other times, I'll like throw it towards a horde and it just will kill absolutely nothing. Like it won't hit anything. It just flies straight back at me, but because I threw it, now it's on that little timed delay. I find that very interesting. And I don't know if it's, yeah, something that's been going on for a long time and I'm just now noticing it, or if it's a relatively new thing. Whoa, why am I stuck? Oh, <laughs> I teleported. Uh, I can't move. Oh, there we go. I couldn't move for a second. All right, I got to get back up there. Oh, God. I keep throwing it at the wrong spot. Oh. Uh. <laughs> I keep getting stuck whenever I go to leave the uh, ether extractor. It's like when the game first came out. You get, like, stuck on the ether extractors. It's kind of weird. Yep, see, can't move. I have to hit Q to switch weapons, and then it will, like, free me up. Let's call this in. I'll take another of those. Might as well grab a self-revive. All right, we're out. Feeling I'm gonna get stuck here. Oh boy, this is a huge horde. Oh, I tried to call in my uh, field upgrade. I should have just like pre called it. I should have called it in um, before going up the zip line. What? How were you not being pulled? Uh, maybe you weren't around the corner. So was anyone else, I almost, I almost never take the dog bone out of the Dark Aether with me. I don't find it super useful outside of, um, I think that's a nuke, I kind of want that. Um, outside of it being able to revive you, oh it's max ammo, don't really need that with just fists. Um, but yeah, I don't really find it helpful outside of being able to revive you. So I almost never bring in a dog, and thus I almost never take one out. In fact, if you notice, yeah, I usually just call it in instantly. I gotta be careful, I've got no more self revives. I've been kind of playing this somewhat haphazardly, not really like smart. Another one here. Whoop. Oh, <laughs> grabbed me right as I went over the edge. Oh, out of ammo. Forgot to change. Oh boy. That was a little foolish of me. What do I got? Nothing really good. One more just for good measure. Well, there we have it. All the Wonder Weapons with a bonus round of the Kazmiers. I do think that the Wonder Weapons, I don't know why, in my mind, whenever I would look into zombies in the past, people would talk about these Wonder Weapons as being these like really awesome, super powerful weapons. But in this game, they don't feel super powerful or OP in a sense. 
Now, maybe my perception of wonder weapons was off and that they aren't supposed to be these OP-ish weapons, but even when I went back and played Cold War, I felt like some of the wonder weapons in there were just so strong that I really could, fe I did feel like I could just use that as my main weapon. It's going to be interesting to see how they work in Black Ops 6 from the COD Next event. That jet gun looked, that looked pretty OP. That looked pretty powerful and crazy. So I'm excited to see how they work in the next game. So I hope everyone enjoyed this video and until the next one, peace.